Milk to go with your donut. <laughs> with my mouth full. Um. Is it good? Um. <laughs> good morning. It is almost noon though. This morning we're heading out to the boat to go and let the kids swim for a little bit. And then we have another drive through experience for later today that the kids don't know about. And it's day two of Chayton being forward facing. <laughs> He's really enjoying being able to watch the movies without straining his neck. Chayton, stay on board. <laughs> Do you need help? Peyton, are you hungry? <laughs> There's five plates. Hmm? It's five plates. Yeah. We all are going to show the appetizer. Little pretzel, baby pretzel bites. Is it hot? <laughs> I want a finger. 
Oh, then we gotta wait until it cools off. Comes with some dipping sauce. This is what we got. How is it? I don't think it's spicy. They're not spicy or anything. No, no, no. The sauce is though. You want one? Oh no, I lost it. <laughs> it's like a creamy mustard. Oh, it's hard to get any. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to burn your hand, this is what you do. It's got a little bit more of a kick. <laughs> Are you blowing on it? Go on this, not the table. There you go. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> now, can you eat it? Oh. <laughs> How many do you have? I ate three. How many do you have, Raven? I have three. Three. This will be my third. Okay. And this one's Chayton's second one. Do you kids want to split the last one? I don't want it. You don't want it. Is Raven hungry for it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is a good dipping sauce, isn't it, Rave? Saving it for later. <laughs> My food's here waiting for me. I got Yeah, they did a design with the sauces. I got the shrimp burger. It's got avocado. Yours looks good too. That's a lot of mac and cheese, dude. <laughs> But those are fun noodles. Oh, look Hot. at that Mommy. burger. <laughs> oh, wow. What is that spicy stuff? Yeah. Everything spicy. Did I you already try yours? Is it good? Uh -huh. I want to see Dad here. try this burger. <laughs> is it spicy? Well, it's got a little bit right now. Oh, okay. I'm sure as I eat more, it's got jalapenos all in it. Oh. Oh, it's not falling out the back. <laughs> it has a kick. Got some slaw on it and the avocado, which kind of balances out the spiciness. It reminds me of some sort of like. It's got shrimp, right? It's shri a shrimp burger. But it reminds me of something like something that you'd get from a Chinese restaurant. Like it has that kind of spice to the sauce. It's really good though. I would do this again. <laughs> okay, move your hair out of your face. <laughs> With the lettuce hanging out of your mouth. In your mouth. The way she eats her food sometimes. <laughs> no, no. How's your food, Tayton? Mine was a mess. But it was a tasty, spicy mess. Kevin says these do not need ketchup. I wonder what kind of salt they use on it. Yeah, I know they're good though. Yeah. I don't personally have used ketchup on my fries though anyways. <laughs> I don't like ketchup on fries. They have the whole street blocked off with the tent so you can eat outside. It's fantastic. Lots of space. The outdoor dining that was under the tent, that was for, I think it was just for the one restaurant, Signo, Signo, I don't know how to pronounce it. The burger social where we ate, they said that the only seating they had because we didn't have a reservation would be the upstairs inside. They did have an outdoor um, area in the back behind us. I would suggest having a reservation for those restaurants, but we weren't planning to eat. We are entering the land of the dinosaurs. Okay, enter at your own risk. For anyone who didn't know, we're doing a dinosaur adventure. Oh my goodness, look at how many cars are waiting to go in. This is all like, wow. Before we get started, let's go over a few safety rules. Safety rules. Please remain completely in your vehicle at all times, especially when passing by carnivores like the ferocious T-Rex. For those of you leading the you adventure, don't get eaten. please make sure that the maximum speed limit is five miles per hour. Dino trainers will be introducing our newest baby dinosaur members. For your safety, our staff will be wearing masks and our baby dinosaurs will be giving baths periodically. Hello, Mama. Hello. Hello. 
getting ready to go see some dinosaurs. We haven't moved though since we got in here. <laughs> That's awesome. They have a Jurassic Park sign on their Jeep. Tate, push. You can't hang. Tate, you have to push yourself, Tate. Mm. Strong man. Just hang up that chain. Do it. Hang up that. Mommy! <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaurs are friendly. Dinosaur adventure like never before. Are you before. sure about that? The T-Rex song. Yeah, I don't know. Bye. Eighties. That must be where they keep the dinosaurs when they don't have them out roaming. <laughs> it's, a, it's fake. They're yeah, I know. Fake. You guys each get one of these. I'll hold on to Chaitin's. Featured dinosaurs, a T Rex, Allosaurus, Triceratops, Brachiosaurus, lots of dinosaurs. I'm not going to read them all. There's the dinosaur shirts that if you get the pack, you can get a shirt. I'm assuming small, medium, large. Just note, it is now 6:42, and we got into that line at 5:50. So it's been about a little over 40 minutes. Guys. No, 50 minutes. Oh, there's the ba a baby dinosaur there, guys. Wow. Look at, right, the, the person's wow. holding the baby dinosaur. Aw, oh, he's getting a little, a little rambunctious stealing the hat. Jane. Hi. He looks a little rambunctious right now. Is it feeding time? I'm happy to see you guys again. He's ready to eat us. Yeah, that's a wrap. Aww. You see the dino? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we got kids in the windows. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is it me? Uh, can't there, Mom? Can't there be dinosaurs? Dinosaurs. Mommy, can't Hi, everyone. I'm Carnival Chris, the lead dinosaur trainer here at Dinosaur Adventure. Welcome to the Mesozoic Era, the age of dinosaurs. Dinosaur there. This era has three time periods, Triassic, Jurassic, and the Cretaceous periods. And today, we're going to be learning about the dinosaurs that lived during those periods. You can buy concessions too for your drive. I see a moving uh, Tyrannosaurus. Do you see the Tyrannosaurus moving? There's the concessions. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Get ready for a dinosaur adventure like never before. Welcome to the Mesozoic Era, the age of dinosaurs. This era has three time periods. Triassic, Jurassic, and the Cretaceous periods. And today, we're going to be learning about the dinosaurs that lived during those periods. Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus is one of the most odd yet dangerous meat eaters ever discovered. It had a small skull with spiked armor on the top and a pair of horns over its eyes. Herrerasaurus. It had long, powerful hind legs for running and short forelimbs equipped with three recurved claws for grasping and raking. The lower jaw possessed large, inward curving teeth and was flexible for holding prey. Herrerasaurus reached a length of about 10 feet and weighed about 400 pounds. Coelophysis. Coelophysis was a small, lightly built dinosaur that lived during the late Triassic period. This predator was about 9 feet long. It had light, hollow bones, hence its name. A long, pointed head with dozens of small serrated teeth, three clawed fingers on its hands, and a long neck. Myasaura. Myasaura was a large, plant-eating, duck-billed dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period. Myasaura was the first dinosaur that was found alongside its young, eggs, and nests. This suggests that Myasaura nurtured its young, giving it the nickname Good Mother Lizard. Velociraptor. The Velociraptor was a carnivore. Velociraptor was a fast-running, two-legged dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period. This meat-eater had about 80 very sharp, curved teeth and a long, flat snout, 
Some of the teeth were over an inch long. Velociraptor was about 6 feet long and 3 feet tall, weighing 15 to 30 pounds. Velociraptor is one of the most bird-like dinosaurs ever discovered. It was small and fast, and the 3.5-inch sickle-shaped claw on the second toe of each foot made it a formidable predator. Parasaurolophus It grew to be about 40 feet long, 8 feet tall at the hips, and weighed about 2 tons. It had pebbly, textured skin, a spoon-shaped beak, and a pointy tail. It had a toothless, horny beak and numerous cheek teeth. Parasaurolophus was an herbivore, eating pine needles, leaves, and twigs. Brachiosaurus Brachiosaurus was a plant eater who lived during the Middle to Late Jurassic period. It was and still is one of the tallest and largest dinosaurs ever discovered. Brachiosaurus was about 85 feet long and weighed about 33 to 88 tons with a long neck, small head, and short, thick tail. Like other brachiosaurids, it had chisel-like teeth, its nostrils were on the top of its head, and it had large nasal openings indicated that it may have had a good sense of smell. Tyrannosaurus Rex The T-Rex lived during the Cretaceous period, not the Jurassic period. The undisputed most popular dinosaur of all time, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. It lived during the Cretaceous period in North America and Mongolia. T-Rex was up to 40 feet long, 15 to 20 feet tall, and weighed between 5 and 7 tons. Everything about this ferocious predator, from its thick, heavy skull to its 4-foot-long jaw, was designed for maximum bone-crushing action. Allosaurus the Allosaurus was a large, meat-eating dinosaur that lived during the Late Jurassic period, measuring 38 feet long and 16 feet tall. The Allosaurus was the biggest carnivore in North America during its time. Allosaurus was a powerful predator that walked on two powerful legs, had a strong S-shaped neck, and had vertebrae that were different from those of other dinosaurs, hence its name, the Different Lizard. Triceratops Triceratops was a rhinoceros-like dinosaur. It walked on four sturdy legs and had three horns on its face, along with a large bony plate projecting from the back of its skull. One short horn above its parrot-like beak and two longer horns over three feet long above its eyes provided protection from predators. It had a large skull, up to 10 feet long, one of the largest skulls of any land animal ever discovered. Baby Triceratops the horn characteristic of Triceratops was not just an adult feature. Although relative to the rest of the skull, the frill was not as big in babies as it was in adults. Because they appear in babies, scientists have cast doubt on the hypothesis that these frills and horns developed for mating purposes. Spinosaurus Spinosaurus was a huge meat-eating dinosaur that had a series of six-foot-long spines on its back, giving it its nickname, Spiny Lizard, Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus was a dome-headed herbivore, meaning it ate plants, that lived during the late Cretaceous period. Its huge head housed an incredibly thick skull, a tiny brain, and large eyes. Its rounded skull was up to 10 inches thick. Pachycephalosaurus grew to be about 15 feet long, 4.6 meters, and may have weighed roughly 950 pounds and was not a very fast dinosaur. Stegosaurus This plated dinosaur was an herbivore that lived during the late Jurassic period. The functions of the Stegosaurus's 17 bony plates is uncertain. The plates were probably well nourished by blood vessels, indicating that the plates may have been used to regulate the dinosaur's temperature. They may have also been used for protection. Stegosaurus was up to 30 feet long, about 9 feet tall, and weighed about 6,800 pounds. A tiny baby brain, baby large eyes, baby. Baby. Skull was up to 10 inches feet long, 4.6 meters. You see him? He went goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, baby Thank you. Oh, there we go. Dilophosaurus. The Dilophosaurus was a speedy, slender, bipedal, meaning it walked on two legs, meat eater, that lived during the early Jurassic period. It was about 20 feet long, 5 feet tall at the hip, and weighed anywhere from 650 to 1,000 pounds. Three specimens were found together in Arizona, leading paleontologists to believe Dilophosaurus roamed in packs. Pteranodon Quetzalcoatlus 
pteranodons were flying reptiles that were about 6 feet long, had a 25 to 33 foot wing spread, and weighed about 35 pounds. Its standing height was about 6 feet. This wingspan is longer than any known bird. Quetzalcoatlus a pterosaur that lived in North America. Though considered a flying reptile and not considered a dinosaur, it lived during the late Cretaceous period and is one of the biggest known flying animals of all time. It had toothless jaws and a long, thin beak. The neck was 10 feet long. The legs were over 7 feet in length, with a wingspan of 36 feet. Oviraptor Oviraptor was a small, bird-like dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was about 7 feet long and weighed 55 to 75 pounds. Oviraptor walked on two long, slender, bird-like legs. It must have been a fast runner, considering its long legs and light weight. It could perhaps run about as quickly as an ostrich, which can run up to 43 miles per hour. This concludes our dinosaur adventure drive through I know, I know, I wish it didn't have to end, but hey, at least you made it out with all of your limbs intact. Telling over here. Telling this thing. What'd you guys think? Was it fun? Are you glad? It was. It was different. We got to learn about dinosaurs and see dinosaurs. I do like the dinosaur exhibit at the zoo though, because you can walk through it and see them and everything. It was nice though, because you got to drive through in your car. It was fun. It was something different that we haven't done. So it was something, especially with things not being open like they used to be, something to do. You got to sit down. Yes, <laughs> and Chayton sat on your lap. I was very impressed by that, <laughs> that he actually like, or sat still. Still have more this weekend that we're doing. <laughs> At least one more day. More water. More water stuff. But until then, we'll see you at the next Meyer Marker. <laughs> Yay!